Good morning, how are you doing? My name is Paul and for those of you that don't know me, I help entrepreneurs and business owners that are struggling with overwhelm and procrastination and all that kind of nasty stuff, eliminate it and develop and grow and build rock solid confidence in themselves and their business. Today I want to talk about procrastination and anxiety. I've seen a lot of questions about this, that you know, does procrastination cause anxiety and vice versa? Well, let's be honest, they're not good bedfellows. <laughs> I mean, if you're an anxious person and you procrastinate, then it's not gonna help you because let's imagine you've got a report to write, okay? And the report has to be in by Friday, and today's Monday. You're worried that you don't know enough, you don't have the right information, you worry that your boss is gonna shout at you because the report will be crap and you won't have half the information in there. And then Tuesday comes along, we still haven't done anything and we worry even more that we're not going to get it finished on time. We think about all the negative consequences and now we know we start to feel overwhelmed. There's just too much to do. This report is too massive. We start to worry about worrying that we're not, just not going to get this done. We might get sacked. The word could come to an end. We're going to get ridiculed and on and on. We get to Wednesday. We've tried to write a little bit. We've maybe done an outline. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't look right. And before you know it, the sweat starting to pour off your face, you're starting to physically shake. It might even start to make you feel sick and ill that you just can't get this report done. Even though you're working from home or you're working remotely, you, you phone your boss and say you might not be able to get it done because you're not feeling too good. Your boss says it's got to be done. I must have this report done by Friday morning, nine o'clock. And now we start to feel even more nauseous and we just... We just don't know where to start. And before you know it, Friday comes along. The report, if you've managed to get it done, is a piece of crap and you feel awful. And it's just like the worst thing in the world. Procrastination doesn't help you if you struggle with anxiety. And even if you don't struggle with anxiety, procrastination is not a nice thing to, to have and to deal with. There are solutions, though. There are ways... <laughs> There are ways around it. What you need to do is, using the report as the analogy again, as the example, spend time figuring out you know, when the report's gotta be done and then work backwards. So today's Monday, I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to work on the report, a couple of hours each day and the report will be done. And then break it down, break it down into small chunks. Like today, for example, you could spend time doing uh, research on the report, gathering all the data, gathering the information that you need to make sure that you've got every kind of aspect covered that your, your boss wants. I mean, you could also talk to your boss and say, look boss, I'm working on this report. Can you tell me exactly what you need me to have in this report? And your boss can go one of two ways. The boss can go, well, actually I need A, B, C, D and E, which is excellent. Or the boss might go the other way and say, well, actually, you should know what I need because you've been working with me for so long now, just get it done. Which isn't that helpful, really, but it still means that you have got some leeway. You've asked the boss, he says, you should know what goes in there. So use your experience, your expertise, your knowledge, your skills, everything you've acquired up until this day and get every bit of research you can compiled, ready for tomorrow. And then tomorrow what we do is we go through the report and look for what you think are the most important topics. So it could be A, D, F and H. It could be the most important things. So that's where you spend most of your time on the report and the rest of the stuff just gets a, a paragraph here and there. So now we've segmented the report down into the important bits and the not so important bits. Wednesday you can spend time drafting the report on the important bits, what did I say? A, B, F, and H. Get all the information collated, write those sections out in draft, and then do a little bit of work on the other stuff that isn't that important. And then Thursday, what we do is we go through the document, write the final report, get it all done, you know, check for spelling mistakes. I mean, if you're using something like Word anyway, spelling mistakes will be picked out, just double check your grammar, and you're sorted. So by Thursday night, your report is done, no stress, no worry, no hassle, and then you put it in on Friday. Now, the important thing to remember is when you put this report in on Friday, regardless of whether your boss loves it or hates it or is completely indifferent, 
the report you've put together is the report that he asked for because you specifically went and said to your, your boss, what do you want in this report? And if your boss said, I want A, B, D and H, great. If your boss said, well, it's up to you, you should know what goes in the report, then the report is perfect because you've put in what you believe should be in there. Should your boss decide that that's not the right kind of information that they wanted in the report, that's their problem and not yours. So to recap, procrastination and anxiety just don't go well together. If you're anxious and you procrastinate over getting this report done or any kind of uh, activity or thing that needs doing, it's just going to make your life horrendous. The thing to do is to break it down into bite-sized chunks. So get the end date when it has to be done, come back and work out how much time you've got to complete the thing, break it into small bite-sized chunks, prioritize it and do what can I say, work on the bits that you deem to be important and the rest of it can just get a footnote or can be ignored completely. I uh, hope you found that helpful. Um, any questions, just uh, drop me in the comments or send me a PM. And if you'd like to book a free strategy call, I'll post the link in the comments later on. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Have a lovely afternoon. Bye.